it's been a heck of a week. A lot going on. Games played, items won, doctors visited, so much to talk about. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Journey. Well, it's another Tuesday, and every Tuesday, we always do our weekend wrap-up. So we're going to go over everything that happened since uh, last Tuesday, and you know, just show you any pickups that I had gotten, anything that happened, um, and a few other little adventures. So, of course, um, Wednesday, this past Wednesday, you know, it was kind of a slow day. Nothing really happened. Um, on Thursday, as I've mentioned last week, um, I did have the appointment with the surgeon, and uh, we did get all the information we were looking for in terms of when I can get this hernia fixed. So, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, um, I'll be going for my pre-op, and then next Wednesday, the surgery will happen. And then they say I'm be, I'll be down for six to eight weeks. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but that was all I did Thursday. It was a pretty slow day that I can remember. Um, last Friday, of course, I went back to work. Um, you know, on Fridays I do payroll and things like that for where I work and, you know, some running and deliveries and whatnot. But after it was over, um, I did message um, one of you guys. Uh, a gentleman named Justin, he reached out and uh, turns out that he lives in the Virginia Beach area, which is where I go to most of the coin shops at. Most of my coin shops that I decide to go to every week, which is generally Silver Eagle and uh, Cannell and Coins. And the Cannell and Coins store is his regular LCS. And he reached out and, you know, was hoping that, uh, you know, we could meet up and chitter chat about some coins and whatnot. So that's exactly what we did. Um, I did reach out to him after I was, uh, you know, pretty much finished with work for the day. And uh, we were, we were going to meet over at Cannell and Coins. So I headed on over there. Um, uh, I did get there and things were slow. They um, didn't have a whole lot of folks inside. So, you know, I figured since they were so slow, it would have been cool to be able to catch up and um, have an un uninterrupted conversation. But uh, it turns out uh, he was running a little bit behind. Um, so we did not meet there. But uh, I did message Justin and let him know it's no problem. I'll hang out wait for you um, before I head over to Silver Eagle. And he was perfectly fine just meeting me over there. So that's what we did. Um, I jumped back in the car, headed over to Silver Eagle, and uh, after about five minutes or so of, um, of being there, Justin did arrive. And so we got to meet, um, had, a, had a pretty good little conversation. Um, I picked up some silver, and uh, he's actually more of a numismatic collector, which is pretty cool. Um, that is what brought me into this, and um, I am still working on what I'm going to do for video wise to keep that as a, a series in my videos uh, or on my channel. But um, he did pick up um, a couple things. He picked up a, uh, a Morgan silver dollar and a peace dollar to go into his collection. Um, and I did pick up a few things and I'll show those in just a second. Um, they are sitting right there and uh, we'll go over these in just a minute. But yeah, um, we had a little conversation. Um, it didn't last too terribly long. Um, of course, you know, I had to finish my day and he had to finish his. He's a very nice guy. He is in the armed forces. And uh, Justin, I do thank you for your service. And uh, I also thank you for taking the time to come out and meet with me. It was a it was a great conversation and I look forward to, to chilling out with you again. And um, Hopefully, you know, I can have a little bit more focused conversation with you. My mind was a little scatterbrained on Friday, uh, but uh, I am very, very happy that I got to meet you. Um, but yeah, we had a, a great little conversation. We talked uh, about his military stuff. We talked about a few different things. I um, uh, didn't talk a whole lot about silver. We talked a little bit more about numismatics. Um, I do look forward to being able to prick, pick his brain um, as I start uh, a stronger progression in that side of things as well. Um, so yeah, I do look forward to that. But as for what I did pick up over at Silver Eagle, um, we'll go over these one at a time. And um, this one, uh, I didn't really know much about it. Uh, this is a half ounce, which, you know, I haven't really paid much attention to fractional pure silver. Um, but this is a half ounce Britannia. Let's get that to focus there. And it is still in the the Royal Mint um, the cover here from 2011. I have not done any searching on it uh, to figure out exactly what it is. Um, I do believe this was 25. So yeah, it had quite the premium. 
so uh, that is why I generally don't pay attention to the fractional stuff but uh, you know I am a sucker for the Britannias and this is just one of the older designs and so I went on ahead and grabbed it just to add to the collection um, I know I paid too much but uh, you know that's the price you you deal with when you are dealing with fractionals um, we'll get to that one on the top in a minute um, I did pick up a couple of other things um, those two there but we will start with their junk bin and in their junk bin or I'm sorry their uh, their generic bin I've always enjoyed the Saint Godden design and this one is uh, definitely a good way to get that design in without having to go buy a piece of gold but uh, this guy was 31 um, their generics right now are 31 but here it is they also had these in there um, almost like scratch and dent style there is a 2015 ASE and this one also was 31 and you can see like right there there's a little scratch on it there and you know some some weird toning there's some scratches and stuff on the back it was not in this capsule I put it in here but um, you know it does got some scratches and whatnot on it and so they just did it as regular bullion price so at 31 I was more than happy to get this if they had more I would have gotten every one of them for that price but uh, yep so we did pick up another 2015 um, then they also had this guy and you can already see on the back is the milk spotting and it is bad but again I got this one for 31 or 30 I can't remember but um, it's a 2011 and it's quite milked um, and there's some little scratches and dings on it but you know what I have been I've got several coins now that have a milk spotting issue um, and I've been wanting to see about um, maybe a video on getting rid of this learning how to get rid of it and this is a perfect candidate for that I'm not worried about damaging this whatsoever this was bought as generic bullion and um, you see some of it comes off just by rubbing on it but uh, yeah, this will be the candidate for that video. So keep an eye out for that. And then in their more premium case, I found my first Germanian coin. And there she be. Um, this guy here, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was 38, um, but I don't remember. I took the little sticker off the back that was on it. But as you can see, this is the 2022. And that coat of arms right there is absolutely beautiful fantastic I have been wanting to get some of these but they've been well beyond my reach for price because most of the time I see these um, even before the premiums got to where they are now these were you know 40 to 50 dollars so I was happy to grab a hold of it let's see so that was that visit after things were done there you know I finished out my day um, Justin and I parted ways after a short conversation outside um, and uh, yeah I just finished my day and I went home uh, the next day on Saturday like every Saturday I went to my closest LCS and again I picked up another ASE um, right now mostly what he has is ASEs um, and I still got this for 35 so it's not ter terrible um, considering all things and of course it's in amazing immaculate condition um, I had a short conversation with him. It was quite busy out there. I'm sure a lot of you saw my uh, my video short, um, and they had some sort of a community thing going on, and so it was quite busy out there. So I knew he was going to get busy as well, and so I didn't want to stay too long. Uh, so I just went ahead and picked up my coin and headed out because, you know, that's uh, that was what I figured was the best thing to do, so that I did not tie him up. That was the end for my uh, LCS visits for the week. Um, Sunday, I did get in on a live stream with Space Miner, um, and it was pretty fun. He was his, if I'm not mistaken, it was his first um, real live stream, um, and he did a, a little game while they were doing some uh, refining, it looked like, of silver and uh, different chemicals and whatnot. I do want to learn how to do that. But um, anyway, yeah, he did his game. The, the stream lasted for a couple hours, and... I, uh, okay, um, I don't know what it is in the last few weeks, but my luck in the silver world has been wonderful. Um, so on Space Miner's uh, live streams, I won two of his giveaways, um, and both of those were for amount of silver shot, 
and I am looking forward to getting that. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, but that was a lot of fun. It was cool hanging out and uh, getting to, to, to check out his first live stream. So that was great. Uh, and then, of course, last night, which was Monday, Monday night, was Savage Stacker's uh, big giveaway, his big live stream. And had well over 100 people in the stream. Everything went fantastic. Um, it went for a little over two hours. And it's amazing at uh, the amount of things that, uh, that he gave away in that live stream. Um, like I said, they gave away... I lost count of it all. I know it was a five ounce bar, um, a three coin set, and he gave away platinum, gave away gold, lots of uh, single coins. It was it was a it was a very very lively one, and uh, overall it went quite well. So um, you know happy uh, that he got to get to this point. He's over seven thousand subscribers now. But you know if you don't know who Savage Stacker is, go check him out. He's he's just a top notch guy with wonderful. Uh, content for you to, to, to check out as well um go see space miner i'm looking forward to you know seeing what he's doing with the refining and whatnot and um there's uh, a couple folks that i'm like snoopy stacks you know i'm hoping to uh, see her start doing some of that as well the refining but there's so many people in this community y'all but uh you know for this one you know, i'm gonna leave my in the information down below for uh, for savage stacker and for space miner and uh yeah y'all go check them out and uh if you like their content, drop them a subscription and enjoy. But uh, that's what I've got for you in this one. I appreciate you all for coming along on this journey. And, uh, you know, thank you all again for the well wishes that everybody's been giving me for my hernia situation. And it's, it's very heartfelt. I thank you. If you all like the content and you're enjoying everything, do me a favor and, you know, hit that like button and drop a subscribe. It always helps things out. We're almost at that 500 subscriber giveaway. So keep an eye out for that as well. So thank you all for being here and following along on my silver journey. God bless.